Welcome to the video cast of episode two of the English Language Test Prep radio blog. What is the best tip for a high score on the TOEFL, IELTS, or TOEIC exam? Build your natural English skills above all else to be successful on these exams. Hello, I'm Professor Wynn, a certified English instructor for more than 12 years. I'm the host of the English Language Test Prep radio blog and author and producer of the EnglishLanguageTestPrep.com blog. If you need insights to get the highest score possible on the IELTS, TOEFL, or TOEIC exam, subscribe to my test tips in my email blogs at bit.ly slash the number five email blogs. And as a bonus, you get a cheat sheet for the exam. After listening to this episode, you will know two things. What natural English means for on the exams and seven ways to implement the biggest secret to IELTS, TOEFL, or TOEIC success so you achieve the highest score possible. Let's jump into our lesson today. Psst, yes, you. Did you know that using natural English is the biggest secret to success on the IELTS, TOEFL, or TOEIC exam? Natural English simply means the English that native speakers actually use daily. Here's what it means for each exam. On the TOEFL and IELTS academic tests, you need to be familiar with university-level English. On the IELTS general, you need to be familiar with everyday English. And for the TOEIC listening and reading and speaking and writing tests, business-related vocabulary terms and scenarios along with everyday English. From reading a newspaper to shopping for groceries, English flows easily and without thinking. That's exactly how your English should be for a high score on these exams. Forget the stodgy textbook English you learned in English 101. You're in the big leads now. At this stage, your level of English fluency should be at the highest level for all of your studies. Now, seven secrets to boost your natural English. Be sure to visit the web post on my blog at bit.ly slash best and the number three test for all the links of the resources mentioned in this podcast. Here are seven secrets to build your natural English and a bonus tip. Number one, find out how you learn best. What's your preferred learning style? Are you better by yourself or in a group? Do you need to watch videos or can you learn from a book? Everyone is different. Find your best style and use it to speed up your English learning. Number two, read a newspaper to absorb a wider amount of vocabulary. Access usatoday.com and read the headlines and news about sports, finances, technology, and travel. Download the app from the Apple or Google stores and read the news wherever you go. Number three, speak English with clear pronunciation. Not like a native speaker, but with clear pronunciation. Access my favorite YouTube channels in this regard, like Rachel's English. Number four, pay attention to the intonation and rhythm of spoken English. Check out my favorite YouTube channel for this, Elemental English. Again, all the links are found in the transcript for this podcast. Number five, take notes from reading an article or watching a video. Good note-taking skills are valued on the IELTS, TOEFL, or TOEIC exam. Visit the web post for this episode at bit.ly slash natenglish for six tips to help you take notes better. Number six, listen to music, a podcast, or the radio. Boost your listening skills. Make it fun. Do you have a favorite song in English? Find the lyrics and watch the video on YouTube. Number seven, build your vocabulary with the word of a day email. Effortlessly add to your reservoir of English words. Make the effort to learn one new word a day. Besides your your intense vocabulary learning, check out my own video lessons of the top 50 terms for the test at bit.ly slash 50 vocab pay hip. 
Two excellent sites to sign up for the daily email for your vocabulary terms are Wordsmith and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, which can be Googled. Or again, you can find all the links to this episode in the transcript. Whichever, make sure you increase your lexicon before exam day and make intense vocabulary study part of your test prep. And one more thing, the bonus tip. Talk with your teachers and friends who speak English well. Strike up a conversation and have them help you with collocations, idioms, or phrasal verbs. Now you have seven ways to boost your natural English on the TOEFL, IELTS, or TOEIC exam. Be sure to visit the web post at bit.ly slash NAT English for all the links mentioned in this episode, as well as the transcript for download. I'm Professor Wynn. Please tell your friends about this podcast so they can boost their exam scores as well. Good luck on your English test. And by the way, do you have an English or exam question for me to answer? Drop me a note on the Facebook page at facebook.com slash English Test Prep.